Hey guys, it's National Barbecue Month, so today to celebrate, we're making a pork rib roast on the rotisserie. We're gonna finish it with a little bourbon pepper jelly glaze. Let's do this. All right, so whenever you pick up your rib roast, ask the butcher to French the bones. It'll also save you time to ask them to remove the chine bone, which runs along this side. You're not gonna wanna dull your knife on this if you don't have to. With this going on the rotisserie, I'm gonna leave the fat cap on but I do like to score it in a crosshatch pattern. This will help it render while it roasts. Next up, I'll be dry brining this roast with a mixture of kosher salt, black pepper, some garlic powder, a little cayenne, and some Italian herb blend. This is a lot easier than a wet brine and will make for a really juicy roast. It's best to season the roast the day before you plan to cook it. Putting it in the fridge overnight gives the brine time to work its magic. I also like to truss the roast between each bone. Odds are one side of the roast is thicker, so this will help it form a more uniform shape so it cooks evenly. All right, so on the day of the cook, you wanna set the rotisserie on the grill so that you can get a feel for where the forks need to be to keep your roast centered over the fire. Secure your roast and let it sit out to get the chill off while you preheat the grill. I'm gonna use a wireless temp probe today and I'll place that as close as I can get to the center of the roast without hitting the rotisserie rod. Light a batch of charcoal and pour it over a bed of unlit coal. Give it a little stir and close the lid. You wanna shoot for a preheat of around 325 degrees. Once the roast is cruising on the grill, plan to let it cook for about 30 minutes before basting. I'm shooting for a final internal temp of 140 degrees. This will give it a window to climb to about 145 while resting. While it cooks, this is a good time to put together the pepper jelly glaze. Starting with a cup of orange marmalade. Follow that with a juice of an orange. And for the heat, I'm using four chopped serrano peppers. Just stir that in and season with a few pinches of kosher salt. To round out the flavor, I'll add three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Let everything simmer for about 10 minutes, then finish the glaze with the zest of an orange and a generous pour of your favorite bourbon. When you check in on the roast, always remember to burp your Kamado. Just ease the lid up to allow the air to enter at a controlled volume. By doing this, it helps prevent a flashback fire from catching. At 30 minutes in, it has some nice color already. We still have a little ways to go, so I'm not gonna glaze it yet because I don't want the sugar to burn. For this baste, I'm using rendered bacon fat. This is a flavorful way to help the outside get some deep browning and you'll be left with plenty of bacon to chop up into bits for garnishing the chops. The drippings from the baste will also kick up the fire beneath. This intense heat will help brown the outside of the roast. I like to leave the lid up and cook the roast for about 10 minutes this way. After it's browned up for a little bit, I like to hit it with some smoke flavor. Close the lid and dial down the vents to let it smoke until the internal temp is approaching 130 degrees. Once there, it's time to brush on the pepper jelly glaze. This roast is looking beautiful. The bourbon orange glaze goes so well with the saltiness of pork. You could even get creative and try other flavors of jam for the glaze. I think strawberry would be pretty tasty as well. Once the internal temp is right at 140 degrees, it's time to pull this from the grill and let it rest for at least 15 minutes. I 
I love the presentation of a bone-in roast. This was only like $15 and it serves up so elegant for parties. As you can see, cooking the roast on the rotisserie kept it nice and juicy. I like to reserve about half of the glaze for serving. That way I can garnish the chops with a spoonful and the flavors will really hit you when you take a bite. And of course, don't forget about that bacon. This extra salty smokiness really sets everything off. Some orange slices and rosemary sprigs are also nice to have on hand for garnish. All that's left to do is dig in. The pepper jelly has like the perfect amount of heat coming from the serrano peppers. The bacon adds a little smoky saltiness to it. The orange always goes well with bourbon. So it's a good flavor combo guys. I hope you'll give it a shot. Happy barbecue month. Little piece without the pepper jelly on it.